Creating a volume on many different storage systems is a complicated process. With Compellence Fluid Data Architecture, provisioning storage is really simple to do. Let me show you. So here we are, we're inside the Compellent interface. This is just a, a simple web interface for managing the Compellent system. I'm going to right click on storage. I'm going to select create volume. A wizard's going to open up, ask me how big I'd like this volume to be. This is the first question it's asking me. So I'm going to create a one and a half terabyte volume. You can see we can select from gigabytes, terabytes, even petabyte size volumes. Simply going to hit continue. It's going to ask me what replay schedule I'd like for this volume. And replays are a schedule of snapshots. I have one earlier that I created called file servers. It's defaulting to that and you can see the schedule here. So I'm just going to hit continue. I'm going to give this a name. We're going to call this uh, accounting, for example. And I can put some notes about this. This is uh, whatever I'd like it to be for notes. I can put these into folders as a way to help organize the view. I'll just hit continue with the name. A little confirmation message that we're creating this. I'm going to create now. The compellent system is creating the volume that we selected with all the attributes that we want it to be. The volume is ready to go. There's some steps at the end of this wizard we can do. One of those is to map this volume to a server, which would be, of course, the next step to do. So whatever server I'm providing storage to can see this storage. So let's select map this volume to a server. This will be my list of servers that are attached to this system. I have one called file server 31. I'll just hit continue there and create now. And that's it. We've created a volume. We've mapped it to the server. Let me show you a little bit about this volume. I'm going to select statistics. Well, this is how big this volume is right now on the compellent system. You can see it's literally zero. This is where thin provisioning or what we call dynamic capacity comes into play. And that creating a volume on a compellent system, regardless of the size that I allocated to the server, literally doesn't consume any space until I start to write to this volume. So I'm going to shrink out of the compellent interface. I'm going to go into disk management. This happens to be a Windows server here. We'll open up disk management. And we'll select to rescan disk. This is telling the server to look for new disk drives. And there's our one and a half terabyte disk drive. We'll walk through the process here of setting up this disk drive inside of Windows. A few clicks of the mouse. And Windows is formatting that drive. And as you can see, it's ready to go. It's the E drive. Well, let's go back into the compellent interface and take a look at how much space actually was used or written to us by Windows to format that drive. So we'll refresh this graph. And there we go. So Windows wrote 78 megabytes of space to format a one and a half terabyte size volume. You can see with overall disk space counting some RAID overhead, we're using very little disk space at this point in time. Well, this is truth in provisioning and the ease of provisioning a volume. There, I'm done. And my coffee's still warm.